Let's go back to the convention floor where Lisa Desjardins, our politics correspondent, our eyes and ears here at the Republican National Convention, uh, is with a delegate, as I understand it. Lisa? That's right. It's a little bit of activity around here, guys, because Texas Governor Greg Abbott is expected to speak soon. They're clearing some of the aisles for him right now. That's why it's a little bit shaky on our end. But who else to talk to right now but a delegate from Texas? Uh, this is Thomas. You are from uh, Amarillo, which I believe you described as what, hot? It's uh, hot, uh, really flat, but it's also kind of like the Old West. So. You said it's where modern America meets the Old West, right? Yeah, that's an accurate description. And you are 25. You are a delegate here that is among the youngest delegates, I think, at this convention. Uh, but you're also running for office. You're running as a Republican nominee, I believe, as tax assessor? Uh, yeah, I'm the uh, Republican nominee for tax assessor in Potter County, Texas. You are someone who is about the future of the Republican Party. So let me ask you, why do you think Donald Trump should be the future of this party? Uh, young Americans still mostly vote Democratic. He's led some incredible growth in our party. You know, we have more people coming to the Republican Party now than we've had in many years. And uh, while not all of it is specifically about Trump, I think the policies are attracting a lot of people. He's good on a lot of the policies. Which policies? I think the economic policies are a great example. What do you mean? Uh, well, you know, look at the inflation we have right now. Look at the expenses people are having on their pocketbooks. Grocery prices are going up. The gas prices, um, especially for a long time since Biden was in, you know, they were really high. I think Americans are just feeling it more now, and they're wishing for the days of Trump again. You own your own home. Mm -hmm. Now, I think Democrats would say, is that an example of the Biden economy doing well? Um, I wouldn't say so. You know, my wife and I were just very fortunate the way things lined up, but a lot of Americans aren't as fortunate as us, young Americans and older Americans. And so they need someone who's going to have their back in this economic time, and I think Donald Trump's that guy. In addition to the other hats you wear, including a cowboy hat I bet you have at your seat, uh, you are also part-time in law school. When you were in college, it was the pandemic. Right. You told me that, and tell me, tell me your experience, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't attend classes. How, what was that like for you? Uh, it was scary, you know, um, especially we were also at the same time taking care of elderly family members. And so we had to think about health. We had to think about um, just making sure everything was safe. So it was pretty scary. I'm curious your reaction to the news that uh, President Biden has contracted COVID right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm a believer that uh, you have to pray for everybody, whether you agree with them or not. While I don't support President Biden, I'm praying for him. I hope he gets through this well, and I uh, hope he's healthy on the other side. You're a Christian. You're talking about your faith. Donald Trump is, is not someone who's always talked like a Christian. He said some very harsh words about a lot of people, about women, about his enemies. What do you think of his character? You know, um, while we haven't always agreed with all of his actions or his style on some things, um, I think he is a man who cares about the country, and uh, I'm comfortable with where he's at on promoting American values, and I'm praying for him right now and for his family, and I think we're seeing it out, especially in this convention. He seems like he's very grateful, especially after what happened, um, and I know people are praying for him, and we'll just hope for the best. Thomas Warren, maybe we'll see you up on that stage someday. Maybe. Omna <laughs> Jeff, thank you.